Hi, my name is Haider Mahmoud and this is my tutorial to show you how to create, how to include objects in a, in a photograph, in a real photograph. So in this tutorial I will teach you how to uh, include an image and how to uh, uh, play with HDR lighting. So uh, to start with, this is the, what we are going to end with and this is before, this is after. So basically as you can see we have a lot of details over here, we have some reflections and as you can see the swords, uh, there's different uh, uh, models with shadows etc. So let's go ahead and get started. So um, I have my uh, 3ds Max open and nothing is uh, in it. So let's start by pressing uh, 0 and then loading the image. We have to play, press uh, display image. After that we show the save frame, so uh, this is because the image will uh, keep the aspect ratio with the output. So after that, after having all, everything set, we go ahead and create a simple plane to be to catch the shadows for our 3D objects. So let's go ahead and match the floor with this plane. So actually let's go ahead and match the uh, little square and you can move the camera around up and down etc um, if you want this this scene to be uh, static you can of course go ahead and, and create a camera but uh, in this case I didn't do that so what we're going to do is now uh, scale the plane up so it fits the whole scene after that we are going to uh, include the we're going to pick the material for it and it's called matte so let's go ahead and search for it, it uh, this is one matte shadow material and basically we leave all the attributes at default so uh, we drag it and drop it on the plane and there we have our shadows catcher so uh, this plane should be able to catch the plane in order to view our background image we have to load it again by pressing z uh, 8 in, in our environmental window and load it in our environmental effects so when you load it and you press render you will get something like this and the total the plane will be disappeared after having that set let's go ahead and uh, into the rendering settings and we enable the reflection environment and hereby we will choose the V-Ray HDR and it should be somewhere around here. Oh no, it's actually this one. All right. And then we uh, we take an instance of that in our material editor. We say instance, and we load in our HDR image. And basically, this is my HDR image, and it looks like this. We so we have to set it to a spher spherical mapping type in order to view it correctly and as you can see I'm rotating around the the HDR image you don't have to use HDR you can also use JPEG but in this case I'm using HDR for better quality reflection so this is basically going to collect our reflection the next thing the next thing to do is to create some lights to light up the scene for our models in this case you can go in and light and you you select V-Ray and just you know create some uh, lights. Simple plane lights that match the 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 lights on the on the image. But uh, since I I have used the default light with no changes at all, I have I will just uh, load in my lights and enable them. So no need to waste time on creating them. And uh, this is my models. Everything, as you can see, is uh, is downloaded for the internet. Nothing is uh, cr created by me. I just played around with the the materials, and that you can you can do by yourself. And let's let's hit a quick render and see how it looks. Oh, the plane doesn't look right. There's something wrong, and I think it's because the placement of the plane. Let's drag it below the objects. So drag it down, down, this where it should be. So around there, and then let's switch view so we can see better. So we have to push the plane back. So we go to the top view. We push the plane back. Oh, actually, we we scale it first, and then we push it back. 
and basically now the plane should be able to cover all the objects and now when you click render you will basically get the desired result so everything was what you see in this scene is uh, simple models that is downloaded from the internet free models and uh, the material for them are very basic so uh, basic from the internet and thank you for watching my header my name is Haider Mahmoud and this is once my tutorial